and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you all my recipe for barbecued pigtails. And here I have some pigtails. So I'm going to place these into a pot of water and we're going to bring this up to a boil and we're going to let it boil until it's tender. But you don't want it to be so tender that it will fall off the bone. You just want it to be tender to the bite because this will go on the grill to char after it's finished. So I'm going to put this up to boil and I'll see you guys back to season it when it's finished. The pigtails are finished boiling, I'm going to just drain them out, give it a wash with some water and then I'll be right back to season it up. Okay, now to season the pigtails and I'm going to be using some Angostura bitters, green seasoning which you'll find on my channel and this is not the one for curry dishes, this is just the basic green seasoning. I have some lime pepper sauce which you can also find on my channel. I have always been telling you that this pepper sauce is so flavorful, you all have to try it. Minced garlic some Worcestershire sauce and some light soy sauce and the reason why we're using light soy sauce is because remember pigtails can be salty and you don't want to be adding additional salt so all I'm going to do is add all of these ingredients to the pigtail to season it I'm also going to add some pepper, black pepper. Now mix to combine. If you wanted to use your hands, you can. Next, cover this and store it in your refrigerator overnight or for a couple of hours. Now to make the barbecue sauce for the pigtails, and this is going to be a very simple sauce. Here I have some ketchup, some barbecue sauce, some guava paste, and if you can find guava paste, you can use guava jam. Worcestershire sauce and I'm using some mushroom soy sauce. So you're going to put all of these ingredients into a saucepan. Next you're putting your saucepan on your stove on medium heat and let this melt so that that um, guava paste melts because you want a smooth sauce. So once that melts and it comes together this will be ready. Okay, so the barbecue sauce is nice and smooth. Now we're gonna move outside to the grill to finish up our pigtails. Okay, so my grill is nice and hot. I'm gonna place the pigtails onto the grill. So you're just gonna baste the barbecue sauce onto the pigtails. Once you've basted that side, you're going to flip them so you can baste the other side. So now all you're going to wait for it to happen is to let that char. Once it chars on one side, you flip it and let the other side char. So you see that nice char that it's getting? That's what you want. Okay, so these are done. They have a nice charred color. I'm just going to take them off. So here you have it, my guava barbecued pigtails. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Now, if you wanted to make this with another type of meat like oxtail, you can. So if you make this, let me know down below if you like it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Enjoy.